back out here with the Silver Eagle. And I brought a whole bunch of different types of ammo today to try out and some targets. I'm going to see how it shoots. I just want to do a follow-up video. I put about 200 rounds through this gun so far and so far not one single malfunction or failure to fire or anything. It's been a good gun. Uh, one guy asked about magazines. This is a five round magazine and then this is a three round magazine. <clears throat> and this gun is basically like, uh, I think it's called a Panzer AR-12, but it does not accept the mags. I got this Pro Mag here. You can see it's for the AR-12, it's a 10 rounder. And it does not fit in there. I'll show you, hold on one sec. Yeah, so here's this magazine it's for the, the other gun, and they're very similar. I'll show you. This is a two round magazine, sorry, it only holds two shells in there for hunting. But you can see they are almost identical, but it does not fit in there. So, what I did, I took this off and this piece of plastic and this top piece slides off so I took the spring out first and then I took the back there the plate off here and I put this on top of there it slid right in there but I couldn't get it to work I even took this follower and put it in there and said it, it just wouldn't work right so I was gonna call I emailed the company asked them if what kind of mags it takes if it take any other kind but I'm pretty sure they take their own magazines so if I get a hold of them I'll put it in the comments or something but anyway onto the ammo we got some got some non-lethal rounds uh, got some armor piercing incendiary got some uh, flamethrowers like old school dragon breath actually I have a real old school dragon breath there uh, number, I think them are tracers more non-lethal uh, these things are cool like the bird bombs and a safety disc or like lead plates <laughs> I don't know I think I ever shot only a couple of them uh, but yeah three inch magnum slugs it's gonna be fun door breachers I think these are still slugs in there I'm, I'm not even sure so we'll try it out I got a steel plate down there and pumpkin and some other things I need to get rid of so let's try it out got the regular shot in there for the pumpkin then I got a three inch magnum lead slug and then a door breacher in there for that steel down there see how it works on the steel down there okay here comes the lead slug Safe to burst. Okay, here comes the door breacher. This was definitely the lead slug. That must be the door breacher there. It didn't go through. I don't know what them things are made of. I'll have to take it apart. I forgot on the pumpkin that was buckshot. I was shooting. I said, why the heck did I did not hit it good? But yeah. It was it was buckshot.
I'm gonna try out these armor piercing incendiaries. It says it burns at 3,000 degrees. I guess she does steel plate there. No fire. Yeah, right there's where it hit, but it did not penetrate and it did not explode. Kind of disappointed. Mainly because that was five dollars a bullet. Yeah, try that again. I got an old sink down there. We'll see if it works. So it sucks because they're like five dollars a bullet. I shoot on the angle so I don't get sealed hopefully. I got six three inch magnum slugs in here. So this should be fun. I'm just gonna try to dump them real quick, maybe, hopefully. Sounds a good idea. <laughs> well, there was a jam. It jammed. <laughs> that was pretty cool, though. It sounded cool. Yep, first jam. Gonna try a safety disc. That's pretty cool. Didn't kick as hard. Alright, we're gonna try out this flamethrower around. That's interesting. Oh man. Smells like somebody put gas on it first. Yeah, no. That's pretty cool. Well, yeah, I think the gun worked pretty good today. It said it did jam with a three inch slugs trying to fire as fast as I could it seems to work like flawless with two and three quarter ah uh, so I know sometimes when you go if you have your mag loaded with three inch and you hit the close the chamber uh, sometimes it kind of grabs a little so but it only jammed that once and as far as ammo goes these suck don't buy them these were okay they're pretty cool I forgot to, yeah, I'll do the tracers. I'll do one of these at night too. But uh, I forgot the bird bomb, so let's, let's do that now. Okay, here we go. The bird bomb. Took the muzzle device off. And I didn't want to get stuck one handed. Holy fudge. I think it just exploded. <laughs> 